I want to give another testimony again. Uh, this is this happened around 2010 or 11, or probably 2010 at the most. Um, this was back in that time again where I was doing a lot of fasting and praying again, and uh, uh, I want to show you that God can answer your prayers. I mean, He knows He's he, He's concerned with the smallest details of what you ask Him, and if you don't, if you do not believe, then uh, you won't be able to see the things He can do for you. But if you just believe, you can experience. His love for you. He loves you so much. So, um, this was around a time where uh, this week I was I was low on food in the house. So I I was uh, I got on my face and I said, Lord, I, I just got on my knees. I said, Lord, please, I, I need uh, some food this week. So uh, I had a friend who who lived down. I lived on top of a hill, and he lived down in the city part. And uh, he. Uh, we were friends, but we were really, really, really close, close friends. We just kind of went to church together, and that was kind of like a miracle. I just moved into this new town, and and it was kind of a miracle how I met up with him. You know, the Lord kind of worked that together so I could get to church. So, anyways, I said, Lord. So he's really like the only person I knew at this town at that time. I didn't know anybody. So, uh, so I saw so I got on my place and said, Lord, I need some food. You know, this week is kind of short. And uh, so I said, Lord, can you tell my, can you speak to my friend and tell him to give me 20 bucks so I can get some food or some groceries this week? And uh, I had this watch that my brother had given me. And uh, so I started, you know, negotiating with God. I said, please, Lord, you know, if you can get him, help me get some groceries. And uh, so I was down there praying and I said, you know, I, I, the Lord said, get up and go down to him. Okay. And I started negotiating with myself. I said, oh, I can't do that. And I had a little bit of pride. And I, and I was like, well, you know, I just, okay, Lord, I'll go down there and go to him. But, I, but I'm only going to go to him if I can, like, offer my watch. And I'll give him my watch in exchange for 20 bucks. Okay. And it was, this was a watch that was a gift from my brother. So, yeah, so I went, I walked down there. Finally, you know, humbled myself and walked down there. And I, you know, I said, look, man, I'm kind of short on groceries this week. You know, can I, you know, can you help me out? I said, look, I'll give you my watch if you, you know, if you help me with some groceries this week and I'll pay you back later on. He said, man, just keep the watch. I'll just hook you up. So he, he takes me down there and buys me probably like $100 worth of food. And on the way back, this is the amazing part of it, man. On the way back, he said, you know what? I keep hearing the word 20. 20. Do you need 20 bucks? I was like, whoa, yeah, man. I, you know, I, I told him, man, that's exactly what I asked God to tell you to give me. So he stopped by the ATM machine and gives me 20 bucks. So I'm like, whoa. So the Lord blessed me. Not only did God give me the 20 bucks, but he also gave me the groceries. On top of it, that's what I was praying for the 20 bucks for. So the Lord, my God, he's, he's, he can do abundantly above all you can ask to think according to the power that works in you. See, I was just thinking about the groceries. Here. So I was asking for 20 but he gave me the groceries and the 20 dollars. See, God is on your side. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you begging or doing anything like that. He doesn't want you giving up things that are precious to you just to get something to eat. So, you know, God bless me, man. I hope that when you ask Him for anything, you know, it don't matter if it's the smallest thing. He knows about it. He cares about it. Okay? And He wants to bless you. Just put your faith in Him. Listen to His voice. Get a relationship with the Holy Ghost. See, Prospering in God's kingdom is not about formula or, you know, if you do this and do that and do that. It's about relationship. It's about relationship with your Father. Listen to the Holy Spirit. He'll tell you to do things. See, he might tell you to go talk to so-and-so or he might, you know, just bring somebody over. To, he might cause you to bless somebody else. You know, he might tell you, you know, somebody might be over here praying for you to do, for, for God to do something. You've got to be, have that relationship with him. Where you hear him, where he says to go over and do it. See, see, God always has a way. There's always a way out. There's always hope. Unless you're in hell, there's always hope. There's always a way out. And God bless you. I love you. Later.